in this video i will cover the motor protection circuit breaker motor protection coordination i have already covered in separate video but in this video basically i will uh, emphasize on the uh, motor feeders which is switch fuse unit operated when there is a fuse unit that means uh, let's say 6.6 kb or 11 kb motors in the medium voltage system we see most of the time we can see that this is the uh, switch fuse operated or the uh, vacuum contactor operated whatever it may be so in that case if there is uh, any fuse instead of the uh, instead of the circuit breaker instead of the circuit breaker then what will be the coordination uh, for the motor feeder so we will say so just to discuss that just to discuss that i will repeat in in brief the uh, breaker operated motor feeder protection as well uh, just to compare uh, uh, what are the differences between these two so uh, watch this video till the end the concept will be clear i hope so let's start as you can see this is the circuit breaker operated um, motor feeder this is 850 kilowatt motor and here the relay relay whatever this abb rdf 542 plus relay has been selected and this is a ct input 100 bar 1 and this uh, over current whatever settings are uh, there during that uh, motor production feeder coordination let it be there i will not change anything here so just keep it okay I will just duplicate this feeder. I will just duplicate this and I will replace. Yeah, now I will replace this circuit breaker. Uh, this circuit breaker I will replace with the help of fuse. Where is the uh, fuse? This is transmission line. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So this is fuse. <coughs> okay. First of all, let's let's create this. Uh, this this motor protection with the uh, where where the breaker is used let's create this uh, tcc curve and then we will create the tcc curve here for the uh, fuse operated feeder yeah so this is the circuit breaker operated feeder this is circuit breaker operated uh, feeder so what uh, uh, what is the relay setting if we see the setting here yeah so this relay has basically oc1 and oc2 i have used oc2 also for better for better coordination how i have used this oc1 and oc2 that means uh, the, there are three stages there are three stages this is 51 n this is instantaneous element not this instantaneous this is short time phase two and stage two and stage three is the instantaneous setting how it is done you can check out the uh, video already uploaded now i will i will not go to in that discussion in detail but this is the circuit breaker operated motor feeder so this is the delay this is 51 this is 51 and this is short time 50 definite time and here this is the instantaneous this is the instantaneous so like this the coordination is existing so here this is the 50 basically this is 50 so now if we go back to our system in the in the second element here if we take if we create the if we create the tcc curve for this fuse operated uh, feeder 
then then we can see the difference how it is working okay so let's create this one okay but before creating that uh, we need to assign this fuse rating this fuse rating this is 6.6 kb system this is 6.6 kb system okay let's uh, take it from the library itself if it is abb suppose cmf 7.2 7.2 kb maximum kb so this can be used this can be used for 6.6 kb system and here if we use the 100 ampere 100 ampere fuse let's select this okay okay that's all now let's create the tcc curve for this okay before that let's check the relay condition here so here this 50 element this 50 element it will be replaced by the fuse characteristic so so that during the short circuit case the fuse will operate not this relay this relay will not operate and also and also here the overcurrent this overcurrent uh, if we replace this 51 setting by this overload relay you can see this overload you can see this overload okay just to just uh, just to show the difference let it be there we will not assign the uh, OLR overload uh, relay setting we will use the 51 only we will disable this 50 because fuse is there so fuse will be protect uh, fuse will protect the uh, protect um, protect from short circuit so this 50 50 is disabled here okay now let's create the tcc curve okay so if we if we look closely here this is the fuse this is the fuse and this one is the uh, relay this one is relay okay this relay uh, oc2 setting i will disable also because fuse is there for the short circuit protection okay so this fuse rating this fuse this this fuse rating should be increased actually this 100 ampere fuse is not sufficient uh, for this so what will be the, what will be the uh, fuse rating yeah so this is 160 ampere this is 7.2 kb 160 ampere abb cmf relay so this will protect this will protect the motor from short circuit and here for uh, till now there is 51 if you see this setting till now there is 51 you can see this is this is 51 still existing okay but but here also in this relay okay so if we use this 51 then then we need to coordinate like this so in case of overcurrent in case of overcurrent or overload this relay uh, this 51 element will operate and from this from this intersection from this intersecting point this fuse will operate for the short circuit now if we replace this if we replace this 51 if we disable this 51 element and if we enable this overload generally there should be the thermal overload thermal overload characteristic so if this if this thermal overload is assigned in this relay this feature is available in ABB RDF 542 plus relay so it it uh, if we activate this one let's say this is standard this is standard curve and if we give the setting here like this okay so this is the thermal overload this is thermal overload so we need to coordinate like this so in this case in this case it will be the setting of the thermal overload what is the setting this pickup is 1.1 pickup 1.1 overload time constant 182 and overload overload constant k equals to 1 so 
this thermal overload will protect the motor from from the uh, overload overload and this fuse will protect the motor from short circuiting for the short circuit fault okay so just like just like this uh, the 51 this thermal overload will be there if the thermal overload is there uh, in that case 51 is not required to be enabled 51 51 can be disabled that is not required or you can you can provide with the 51 as well but that should be the backup protection not the main protection for the motor generally it is not used generally this overload this overload is used it will calculate the relay will calculate based on the temperature uh, based on the temperature sensing it will convert uh, into the current signal and it will uh, give the trip command in case of thermal overload and for the short circuit this fuse will this fuse will operate so this was this was today's discussion for the uh, for the coordination motor feeder co coordination for fuse operated motor feeders uh, i think uh, it's clear now uh, you can check out this video twice so that the concept will be more uh, clear uh, still if uh, there is any doubt you can you can put your comment in the comment box